Laying the driver's here, take us to the TV station. Okay, just a sec. Are you ashamed of me? Am I ashamed of you? No. Yeah. Do you think that I'm morally inferior? No. No, I'm ashamed of the Congress. I'm ashamed of Runyon. Listen, Lane, I, I gotta tell you, I, 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 with everything that's going on, for you to do a, a high-profile show like this, for me, we'll I think to, it's a we'll major mistake. We'll talk to mistake. the producers. I've been on the show a dozen times, Lewis. They promised that they were not going to bring up the internet issue, okay? Oh, a deal was cut. Yeah, yeah, they gave their word that they weren't going to talk about the sex issue, okay? They gave their word or yeah. they promised? Yeah, what difference does it make? It, it makes doesn't a difference. make any Lane, difference, I did Lewis. this for a living. I did this for a living. If this were me in that job and I had you right now in your position, there's no way I wouldn't go for we'll the jugular. We'll check it out. It's going to be fine, Lewis. Let's go. I got to get my jacket. Where is it's it? It's a mistake. It's not, just... Well, if, if it's a fucking mistake, then. Leo, okay? Where the hell are you? <laughs> Six years ago, Baltimore, you grabbed up a kid at Francis Public Deal on the West End. Did I? I don't know. I don't remember anything about the place. Who am I? Who am I? I don't know who I am. You're somebody's father. His name is Sean. Do you understand these rights? You're not going to kill me? Do you understand these? They're not gonna kill me. Rise. If you don't go through with this, my family gets nothing. Okay? You're supposed to kill me. He said you would. He? Who's he? I don't know. He called me in my cell. He told me I'd be released if I went along and my family would be taken care of. If you did what? If you did what? If I acted like I killed your kid, okay? Tell him, kill me. You couldn't do this. Kill me. Kill me. Kill me. Kill me. Let go of the gun. Leo, let go of the gun. Let go of the gun. It's okay. Let go of the gun. That's it. Let go of the gun. You're not gonna kill me. Goodbye, bro. Anderson, wait a second! I don't have a job open. It's that simple, Denny. It's cut and dry. This girl has something. She does, Sheppy. She's sharp. She has class. You could be hiring the next, um, Diane Sawyer. I don't have a job open. I know you don't, but you could do this for me, right? You could do this for me. No, I can't. You want to know why? Yes, why? Okay, I'm going to come in and I'm going to tell you. Hold on. Jesus. I'm going on in a second here. Because, my lord... I'm too busy doing other things for you. My lord. We're back. It just takes some time. Little girl, you're in the middle of the night. Everything, everything. Hi. Hi. Um, I'm Andy Wolfmeyer. I'm here to see Shep Goodman about a job. Um, Benny Davies asked me to come in. Oh, okay. Well, if you'd like to take a seat. I'll let him know you're here. Okay. Thank you. No, you're not understanding me, okay? I'm making this I really... found one. I've got an opening. Something's come up. I found an opening. I'm on the phone. Okay. If you want her to have the job, I'll make it happen. You'll just owe me as usual. Nelson, I'm just going to say this because I have to, okay? And don't get cross with me for bringing it up again. But I do. I do really want to have another baby. No, you don't. Well, yes, I do. You don't because we already talked about it. The second kid comes when the first one's old enough to help change its diapers. It's that simple. No, stop it. Seriously. I want to have one while Bobby's still a baby. And they'll be close in age. I think it would be great if they were really close. You know, then if we have other kids, we can have an age break there. Be like the older kids and the younger kids. You know, what about your career? What about a second paycheck? What happens if I want to have a breakdown or something somewhere up the road? You know? Don't be so selfish. Well, we can have the other kids much later, but now for the second baby.
What'd you do, hook yourself up to the hose this afternoon? What is your problem? Huh? Problem? Having a good day? Running around with young women half your age. I mean, what is that about? You manipulate young women. Use your power and title to seduce them and get them to run around with you. Yeah? So? It makes me sick, the thought of you with my daughter. Here's a tip. Don't think about it. Yeah. Who should I sleep with, Terry? Women like you? Your age? My age? I don't. You know why? Because young here women are nice. You take them out, they're actually grateful. Oh look, a steak, yummy. You go for a walk after dinner, the air smells nice. They say thank you. This was nice. This was fun, you're funny. Hee -hee. What should I do, Terry? Settle down and marry some pissed off thing like you? I'd rather have someone come over and do dental work every day from my backside up through my ass. You gonna slap me in the face again? No, probably not. Way to read the room. Nope, nope, I got dinner, and I got roses, and I got some massage oil for one very lucky woman. Let's see what else I got. I got some scenty shit. Why'd got... you fire your assistant? I called at the office today, and the girl at the desk next door said you'd fired her. Why'd you fire her? I did. I did. I fired her. I fired her, and then I, I hired her back. Yeah, but why'd you fire her? She was incompetent, actually. What, now she's competent? What's going on in there? In that head of yours? Nothing. Nothing. Listen, you know, it's funny you say this, because I had a revelation today. I did. I did. I realized that I love you, and that the problem is me holding on to a lot of really stupid stuff. Mm, well, let go of it, OK? Because I'm not a patient woman. I just pretend to be one. And you do that well. Mm. I'm gonna sprinkle a bunch of rose petals in the tub. I'm gonna set you in it. I'm gonna give you a foot massage, and I'm gonna work every toe. Oh, that sounds awful. It does, doesn't it? I knew you'd say that. That's what Doug does to his wife. Oh, my I, God. It's horrible, isn't it? <laughs> we should girl. just take them somewhere and shoot them as a favor. <laughs> you wanna make me happy? You wanna make nice? Take me into the bedroom for a couple of hours. A couple of hours? Yeah. Okay. Come on. Okay. Hey, sounds good to me. Let me Come just on. start the clock. I'm just gonna see if Bobby's diaper needs changing. That's ten minutes. Shut right. up! There, you come with me. Minutes. Come on. It's a couple of hours. Yeah, don't bounce some quarters off my ass. Pardon me? You heard. Okay. All right, well, let me take my coat off. No! I can't do this on demand. This what am I, a cable channel? Come on. Come on. <laughs> don't you want to have foreplay? No! <laughs> Romance? I want you to perform! <laughs>